Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Unfortunately, when I was recording last time, my computer was running smoothly. I looked at the recorder, and it's only recorded 4 megabytes of video, meaning it just stopped working, you know, like 30 seconds after it worked. Anyway, I just bought the Infobot. I can't show the cutscene, but basically, Ratchet and Clank call each other names because they both want to get to this planet. And the guy jumps in the water to run away. Anyway, I can show you the infobot, so here it is. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Alright, so that was basically it. Alright, so now we can go on with the actual level. And I got almost to the end of the level, and then when I realized this, so I reset it before I could get the other info bot on this planet. So, luckily enough, you know, you guys don't have to worry about missing other anything else other than that info bot. And this trespasser thing gave me so much trouble last time it wasn't even fun. Basically, you just gotta make sure it's out of the way of everything. It took him four minutes to figure it out. Oh, it's this way. And it took me... Four minutes. 20 seconds now. And it took me four minutes before. Yeah, even the hardest one, I don't think I've ever had that much trouble on. Alright, and there are some more boxes up there, but right now I'm really not worried about that. Okay. I wish I had the Devastator here, because that helps dramatically. It's not even funny how much it helps. Alright, you blow it up, where all we have to do is go... Alright, I guess it does help you guys a little bit. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. I might cut this part out. Alright, come here. Give me bolts. Doom, throw one or two out here, and you'll be set. Kid, go get them, puppy bots! Puppy bots? Yeah, puppy bots. Alright. I'm eating soup, so I haven't found that. Yeah, my sister's eating soup. Aren't you suit me? It's got a lot of crackers in it. I like the Oh, sorry, I'm just a little ticked off at my recorder. I have a terrible computer. I'm really not surprised that it happened, even though that's the only the second time. It happened in Wind Waker. It's only happened once before, and that was during Wind Waker when we were cutting ahead tons and tons and tons. Yeah, we lost how many weeks? We lost. We lost like half a video, which was at least half an hour of work. No, it was an hour worth of work. Alright. <sighs> I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, basically, if you take a lap from where I left you off, you'll end up here. Um, yeah, you jump down there and, yeah, you know the drill. Alright, now I suggest before you do anything, you just throw two at least Glove of Doom Runners out there. So, so what? Do people watch Let's Plays for entertainment, or can it actually be helpful? Most of the time, people watch Let's Plays for entertainment. Though, if a person is playing along and they've never played it before, it be can helpful. be very helpful. I like to play games without guides, unless it's like a really big game. Yeah. 
like... Zelda is like the only game series that I know of that you truly almost always need a guide for to pass. You might be able to beat the game, but 100%... Yeah, it's 100% of that game. I mean, without even getting tips from anybody? Without getting tips, looking up a guide, anything, yeah, that would take... Forever, yeah, yeah. to figure out everything? Oh my gosh. But, like, yeah. like, Viva Pinata is another game where you have to, like, look up an animal guide, or you will not figure out how to get them all. Yeah. It's just, you can't spend your entire life trying to figure it out. This is the point where I got to before it crashed. Blast thing and won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. <laughs> well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look. Didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of yeah, you'll need magnets the magma boots. You will find them on planet orcs on. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any magna boots. Yeah, or the gassy plant, whatever they were just talking about. That was so overly polluted. Yeah, now my computer's lagging like normal. Oh yeah, I forgot that there was... Oh wait, no, that's a different section of the level. Never mind. Alright, so... I'm to go to Orkson. And I could go... to Gaspar, but I feel like I'm going here first. I just want to get this done, because it's a clank level, at least at first, and I just... I do not like clink levels. Who's your favorite out of the two? Ratchet. Ratchet, and Ratchet for sure. Uh, I mean, um, wow. So basically, it's entirely green because of the toxic waste? Yeah. What color was it before? I have no clue. What do you got to need mask? You need the O2 mask, also known as oxygen, uh, to even know. step foot on. As ratchet. Yeah. I'm not going to be going for every single box. That would just be insane on my part. Yeah, I think you could stop now. <laughs> well, actually, maybe I'm beginning to do that. Badger bots can't climb. Yeah, I know. They can't climb. Alright. Stop being useless. Attack. Thank you. Alright, so in a case like this, tell them to enter. And they'll enter that teleportation area. Alright, so let's get this. Come on, gadget bot. Don't wait around for me. Alright, enter. And a quick way to get Clank up there is just to, you know, do it the same way as the Gadgetbots do it. Alright, attack. Do not die, or I'll get disappointed in you. Good. Very good! Alright. Enter. Uh, 
Alright, come on. You frog. I don't know if that was supposed to be an insult or what. I guess I was just being Captain Obvious right there. My eyes hurt. That was... Weird. Blanket is warm! So let's just kill you right here since, you know... Attack him! Attack! No! Come back! Now attack! Alright, well, unfortunately, we've run out of time for this video, guys. So, I'm going to just have them sick on this guy, and I'm going to end it here, guys. See y'all next time. Bye.